Right. Have you ever gone to the doctor and received bad news? You need surgery, mm -hmm. you have heart disease, or even cancer. Understandably, your mind goes blank, and you probably didn't hear or remember anything your doctor said after that. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how cell phone apps and other programs are changing that. Follow my finger with your eyes. Sandy Peters is doing just fine right now, but a month ago she got the shock of her life when a routine MRI for a sinus problem turned up a brain aneurysm. And for the first time I was able to see my aneurysm and see how it was attached to my brain and everything like that. A little overwhelming. When you leave the office it really hits you like a brick wall. And when I got home I couldn't remember anything. Almost as difficult was when Sandy had to tell her family. And I have two sisters who are incredibly smart and they were bombarding me on the phone with questions. And I kept saying I will, I'll have the answers for you. The reason Sandy knew she would have the answers is that her doctor at Lenox Hill, Chief of Neurosurgery David Langer has helped develop a computer program and mobile app that makes a video of the patient's own medical issue. Patient specific videos about the particular problem they can share with a, their, another doctor, they can share with their kids, their loved ones, and then when, when they say what did the doctor say, here's what the doctor said. Fill up the aneurysm without blocking the artery. Here's how it works. As Dr. Langer explains Sandy's aneurysm, the program records what he's pointing at on the screen as well as what he's saying and Sandy's questions. A personal tutorial in two to five minutes. So this is the aneurysm coming off. This is the wire. Sandy can access that video on her phone so she can share it with her family. The other key part of the app is that it records your hospital discharge instructions. I have the staff that I can call so I know exactly what medication to take. I know exactly how much medication to take. It even has the milligrams of my medication and it reminds her every morning. Now, this clearly makes life easier for the patient, but does it actually improve their medical outcome, and can it be integrated into the hospital systems? That's what they're studying right now. If it does work out, the app and program, which are being used in the neurosurgery department at Lenox Hill, will be rolled out to the rest of the hospital and eventually to other hospitals. You would think it certainly yeah. doesn't hurt, right? Oh, not at, not at yeah. all. And, and it's sort of a no-brainer, but you need to actually try it, it and use sense. it and make sure, sure that it works. But you would think that it would prevent some misinformation from being right. passed on because yeah. some, we're not there's medical. There's some privacy issues in terms of protecting those files, that sort of sure. a thing, because of HIPAA regulations. But yeah, I think it's wow. going to work. All right, Doc. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Dr. Thanks. Max.